Hi there, I'm Piper. I'm an animator and an illustrator working freelance. I started doing digital art around 2017, 2018. Here is one of the first pieces I did digitally based on a sketch from around that time. And today I'm gonna to be taking this digital drawing and completely redrawing it in Clip Studio Paint. It's just the kind of stuff that I notice about Clip Studio Paint is that it is completely and utterly designed for artists. And I'm right here, I'm using one of my favorite features of Clip Studio Paint, which is the brush selection tool. Lining digital art is probably one of my favorite parts of the process. I really, really love that pen in Clip Studio Paint. It's just so lovely. So I really enjoy doing line art. You can actually set up a time-lapse recording feature on Clip Studio Paint before you start drawing, especially for, you know, posting your artwork online. It's just always so fun showing people the process in a really fast 30 second video. And then I definitely wanted to talk about Clip Studio assets a little bit. And the cool thing about Clip Studio assets is there are thousands and thousands of assets made by other creators that you can download. As you can see, there's already such a huge difference in the two pieces from 2018 and 2021. I can definitely see the huge improvement from the past three years of practicing digital art. Thanks again to Clip Studio Paint for going on this journey with me. If you are someone that prefers to draw on the go or in bed, kind of like me, you'll be happy to know that Clip Studio Paint actually is available on multiple different devices. Be sure to check out Clip Studio Paint and give it a go.